How are Doritos made in factories? How were nachos invented? We visited the Frey factory to learn how one of the most well-known snacks in the world is prepared. Every year, thousands of tons of Doritos are consumed worldwide. To meet this massive demand, giant harvesters harvest tons of corn. However, how are 70,000 bags of Doritos produced every day? The term Dorito is derived from the Spanish word dorado, which translates to small pieces of gold. In the 1960s, Arch West, a fast food executive, discovered the history of crispy tortillas at a local restaurant in San Diego, California. Using leftover corn tortillas that would not be used because they were broken or did not meet sales standards, he devised the idea to cut them into triangles, fry them, and season them, creating the first Doritos. With a wide variety of 10 distinct tastes, unlike regular chips manufactured from potatoes, Doritos have become the world's best-selling chips. This trend is still going strong today. Corn flour is a fundamental ingredient in Doritos. Corn is chopped with care. They are making Doritos from plants while taking care not to harm the grains. The corn is cut slightly above the ground, removed, and carried to the factory, where the supplier cleans and dries the grains. The harvesting capacity exceeds 140 tons per day, assuring a consistent supply to the facility. The prepared corn is then sent to the nacho factory, which receives a daily shipment of 45,000 kilograms of corn. The dry corn is moved from large storage bins to vessels cooked in water. This process is carried out using vibrating machines that effectively remove dust, stones, sand, and other residues while ensuring an increase in the moisture content to 14%, a crucial factor for the production process. As one of the giant chip plants in the world, Frito L's facility can produce over 100,000 nacho packs a day, which are subsequently sold. The facility is divided into four main sections. The corn portion makes tortilla type items, such as Doritos. In the middle is a 65,000 square meter distribution center. The facility can produce between 70 and 100,000 bags of Doritos daily or around 18 million bags annually. The first thing that stands out as soon as you arrive is the presence of two massive silos, each of which can hold 120 tons of corn kernels. With the contents of these silos, the factory can produce 20,000 kilograms of Doritos, which is the first step in making the Dorito because the corn needs to be cooked before it can go into the soaking tank. The corn is first boiled in kettles around the boiling point. After that, it is moved to open tanks and left to soak for about 30 minutes. Each cooking pot can hold about 300 kilograms of corn and 90 liters of water. The corn is first roasted for around four minutes at 93 degrees C. After that, it is transferred to big tanks for an overnight soaking to help the grains soften. The corn is left to soak for 12 hours. This soaking process helps the corn absorb moisture, which helps remove the corn husk. The outer husk of the grain is filtered out, leaving behind only soft and hydrated corn. Where the moisture content reaches 45%, the husks become soft and can be easily removed. After the soaking process, the corn is transported by a pumping system to the washer, where the removed husks are separated. The corn then moves on a conveyor belt from the drum to the mill. After the cleaning process, the corn goes to a grinding machine with rotating millstones, which grinds the corn grains into a dough. This process involves pulverizing the corn grains between the two stones, producing a soft corn dough. As the grinding process continues, water. The dough exits the mill through a narrow nozzle, forming a thin sheet. This sheet is then passed between two metal rollers that form it into a ribbon. A third roller that has triangle dies attached cuts individual triangle nachos. The dough passes between these rollers and through the cutter, which resembles a cookie cutter, and punctures the dough to produce perfect triangle pieces. The freshly cut Doritos move along a conveyor belt to the next step, which involves baking in the oven. Despite the seemingly organized process, any leftover dough is recycled and sent back to the dotes to be reused. This machine can cut 6,000 individual chips per minute, amounting to over 8 million chips every 24 hours. Now it's time to toast those tortillas. The triangle nachos go into a remarkable oven with three stages and a high temperature of 340 degrees C. The nachos only need a little time in this unique oven to get the right texture, keeping them wet and preventing them from drying out. This process also helps to create the unique bubbles that give Doritos their distinctive crunch. The industrial oven effectively seals the outer surface, preserving moisture and causing bubbles in the dough. Even though the dough only spends 16 seconds inside, this is enough time to dry it enough to hold together when handled. The heat entrapment causes tiny moisture pockets within the dough, which gives Doritos their distinctive irregular texture. 
Later, the team lets the tortillas cool on several conveyor belts before moving on to the fryer. This brief pause also gives inspectors a chance to make sure that none of the triangles burn in the oven. Next, the triangles are moved to the fryer via a mesh conveyor belt, where the oil is kept at a temperature of 182 degrees Celsius. It takes just 55 seconds for the nachos to fry at this point, giving them the ideal color and crispy texture. After this stage, a mesh conveyor belt removes the nachos and vibrating conveyors return the extra oil to the fryer. The bubbles in a finished Dorito are air pockets trapped in the chip during the frying process. The Doritos are now taken to a unique drum and combined at the next station with the proper seasonings and ingredients. Nacho seasoning is dispensed into the drum by a screw auger. Spices and Parmesan cheese are poured into the top of the machine, and the mixture is funneled into the drum. The main components consist of different types of cheeses. Spices, taste enhancers such as monosodium glutamate and preservatives extend the product's shelf life. Canola oil is sprayed onto the nachos via nozzles, improving the stickiness of the seasoning and strengthening the surface adhesion. The seasoning is adequately distributed throughout this enormous drum, which acts as a buffer to keep the delicate chips from breaking apart as they pass through it. The seasoned Doritos travel a considerable distance on a 30-meter conveyor belt to guarantee complete cooling before completing, packaging with a $4 billion yearly value. This in-demand product is handled carefully. After exiting the seasoning drum, the nachos are fed into one of Hopper's many packing apparatuses. Each apparatus has 14 Q-shaped scales, exhibiting the pinnacle of technical choreography. When there are enough Doritos for a package, they are carefully placed and fed through the measurement device, which uses a succession of spoons to weigh a bag of Doritos precisely. The nachos fall through a trap door and simultaneously, a machine forms an aluminum and plastic strip into a bag. The bag is then quickly closed, cut, and heat sealed, sealing the bottom of the next bag. The nitrogen is added by the bagging machine and sealed with an airtight closure. To keep Doritos fresh for a more extended amount of time, this procedure eliminates oxygen. Furthermore, it produces an air cushion inside the bag to stop the chips from shattering. About 100 chips are contained in each large Doritos bag. This plant can produce and package 70,000 bags of Doritos daily or over 18 million bags annually. After that, the bags are distributed to retailers and made available for consumers. If you want to learn how chocolate is made, please watch the video on your screen and hit the like button. A worker confirms that there are eight bags in each box. So this is the end of today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting and informative videos.